Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started uh, setting up our our farm farm, our food farm, um, because I did have the game uh, roll over to uh, the Tier 2 Honey Beehive um, not too long, actually, after I left you in the last episode. Uh, also, just a quick announcement. Um, I, I started my first episode of multiplayer yesterday on Sunday afternoon. And uh, we'll uh, have that. Oh, look at that. We just got another nice, big, juicy payday. Uh, we'll have that out um, tomorrow on Tuesday, April 30th. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're, so I'm, I'm going to be doing this again with uh, friends uh, in multiplayer just to kind of experience the game, you know, with, with other people and just kind of see how that goes. So I uh, just wanted to, to announce that to everybody. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We are uh, now able to uh, make the... Oh, wait a second. Why did... I, oh, no, sorry. My bad, my bad. It's the Tier 2 Mutagen that unlocked. Um, as soon as I sent those two rockets up, um, they unlocked it. Now look at it, look at our insects. In fact, let's now that we can do that, let's crank out a whole bunch more rockets because this is really what I want to get to before we do our... Uh, our food farm, uh, which we're going to do over in the uh, the wetlands area. Uh, let's see, 42. Yeah, we're getting cl pretty close to the T2 aquarium. I'm looking forward to that because we'll be able to add that to our base and uh, it'll look badass. All right, let's uh, let's take a quick look in the store here. Uh, we currently have 13,000 and change on uh, monies, but we want to get... I want to get to the dome living compartment um, before we build our, our permanent home, you know, where we're going to live kind of home as opposed to just, you know, our production bases and all that. Um, and we're still a bit of a ways out. We're almost, well, we're, we're about halfway there, a little more than halfway there, actually. Uh, so we'll let that just continue on. Um, you know, my, my plan for the food farm is that we're going to sell, you know, probably 95% of the food because it's going to, you know, make way more food than we, we're going to need ourselves. Uh, so that'll also increase money, uh, you know, but the fusion cells are the, are, are the most lucrative thing, as far as I know, anyways, to sell in the game. And we already got, you know, that production line going. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long, you know, for us to, to get the money. Um, all right, let's see. So what do we want to do? Uh, I guess, yeah, the first thing we should do is, is work on some more rockets. Um, and I had mentioned to you guys, you know, that I was going to um, switch over our, our chest to the tier two. Um, we might start that a little bit. I don't want to do a whole lot of that on camera. I don't want to do a ton of inventory management on camera, but we can do some of it. Uh, but we already have two rockets here, so let's grab those. Uh, as far as the energy multiplier fuses go, I mean, I think what I'll do with that... Is we. <laughs> 37,000 kilowatts of power, guys. I mean, we might not ever run out of power for the rest of this playthrough. I don't know. But what what the plan is for that is if we ever do get to the point where we run out of power, you know, then we'll just add more fuses um, and, and you know, and go go with that. Um, so, right, rockets. We need, let, let's go take a look and see what the recipe is for that. Um. All right, so we will pin this and go back and get the stuff. So, I mentioned this several episodes ago that, you know, playing this game and particularly, you know, starting to get into the production part of it has really made me <laughs> want to play Satisfactory again. And if, you know, if any of you follow Satisfactory, you know that um, 1.0 is on the horizon. It's uh, It's been announced. I don't think the actual date uh, of when it's going to come out has been announced, but it, it's on the horizon. And, you know, update eight is what they have now. Update five was the last update I played, which was a, almost two and a half years ago. Um, and so I'm probably going to start a satisfactory series again. And, um, and I'll probably just start over from the beginning because, you know, my factory from update five, I, I can lo load into the game, but you know, because that was two and a half years ago and there's been some substantial changes. I don't think I trust the game to, you know, to continue on from there, which is one reason why I would want to start over. But the other reason I'd want to start over is just because I, I really enjoy the beginning of that game. And it would also help me, you know, kind of ease back into everything as opposed to trying to, 
remember where to start over at tier four, which is, I think, where I, I left off. Anyway, just a little shameless plug there, but if you guys like Satisfactory and you like watching me, uh, come on over because I'm almost positive I'm going to go ahead and start a series on that as well. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Let's, um, what are we doing? Um, rocket, right, we're making rockets. So we need, you know, we might need to bump up our larva production. Because, okay, we don't even have enough bee larva to do two. So we're going to need to make another one. So let's do an uncommon, I think we need a mutagen. And a fur, I, th I think just a normal fertilizer for the bee larva. Let's take a look. Yes. And of course, there's no guarantee that we'll actually get it. But most of the time, I do get a bee larva with this arrangement. Um... So let's let that cook up, and then while it's doing its thing, we can get the, the first rocket launched. Uh, so we're going to need an Oz rod for that. Um, Osmium, wherefore art thou? Over here. And the tier two mute. So to make one of those, we need a mutagen, a, a common larva, and a honey. Okay. Normal mutagen, common larva, and we'll grab a honey down here. And we'll get this uh, first rocket launched, and then we'll come back and make the second one. Okay, so we have everything we need uh, for that. Let's head on. I always get to mixed up in my base like all right where am i going <laughs> Ooh, look at that we'll pick up that and let's get the first rocket and then we'll just get our insects boosted even more beautiful okay since we picked this guy up a 600 percent multiplier we might as well make another butterfly thing and I'm gonna actually start picking up some of these common larva since we now know we need them to make the tier 2 mutagen looks like we need to take a drink uh yeah okay he just appeared I'm looking forward to making the the big aquarium and adding it to the base I think that's gonna look really cool um what are we doing? Uh, okay, yeah, we're coming in here. Let's let's actually make the second. Let's make two more tier two mutagens. Oh yeah, we needed honey because you know we you know we're gonna need those of course. There we go. And. One, two. Very good. All right, we'll just stick these guys in here for the nonce. Uh, is our other bee ready? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Okay. Whoop. Wrong thing. Okay, so now we need to pull one of these back out of here, and we need one more Oz rod. Okay, let's get that other rocket launched. Give ourselves a huge insect boost. Bon voyage! Alrighty. Sounded like that thing was chasing me. I've had a couple of you guys tell me in the comments that I missed a room in the desert ship, and I missed, uh, I may have missed a blue, uh, a blueprint ship in the, the Stargate. So, I guess what we could do while we're, while we're kind of just waiting for stuff to kick... Oh, I guess we need to make the butterfly thing. All right, so we need a zeolite. Uh, we could go check those two things out. Um, zeolite, tier 2 fertilizer. And a bioplastic. I'll take a 600% multiplier butterfly for free any day. Let's stick you over here. There 
There we go. Beautiful. Um, all right, so let's get some water in our inventory. We just need one, and we'll drink another one just to top off. Let's top off of food here. And I think we're good to go. Um, let's go back to the Stargate first since I have the teleporter still over there. And y'all were saying, well, not y'all, one of you <laughs> were saying that it was in the water. Um, so it's a blueprint thingy I missed in the water. We need to be careful because I don't have any O2 on me. But let's look around for it. I might have to check that comment again to see exactly what they said. Uh, but let's just swim back here. Look around. There's the fusion reactor. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in there. This is the room that goes back to the tunnel. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what about in here? This is the room we opened up with the fusion reactor. I don't see anything down below. We already checked the safe. Nothing left in there. Yeah, I don't know. Let me uh, let me look up that comment for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, the comment said in the Stargate there was a microchip chest that was halfway in the water, but they also indicated in the comment that I may have gotten it. Um, so. Halfway in the water. Uh, that seems to indicate it would be partly sticking out of the water. Is it over here? Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna say maybe I got it. I don't remember, obviously. Because the only two places that something would be halfway in the water is right here or right here. Because if you go any further than this, then it's fully submerged. So maybe I did pick it up. I just don't remember. Um, or I guess yeah, here too, but we've already looked in here. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think I think I probably already got that. Um, if... If I'm still missing it, give me more details, please, if you would, in the comments, because I'm just not seeing it. Very good. All right, let's go back to the base. And we'll head out uh, to the desert ship. Uh, wait a minute, do I have... Oh, yeah, let's go. To, let's, let's just go to the fusion production cell, because it's close to the desert ship. Uh, anything? Oh, look at that. We're building up pulsar quartz. Okay. So the, uh, is the ship gone? No. Oh, the drones are loading it up. Okay. So this is moving along pretty good then. It's probably not a hundred percent efficient, but it's, it's working. It's definitely working. Okay. Let's go check out the desert ship here. The comment for this one said, go in to the room with all of the consoles and the room I missed is on the left. Yep. Okay, so room with all of the consoles. Possibly that room on the left there. Ah, yep, indeed. Okay, thank you. I totally would have forgot all about this. It gets us more circuit boards. And let's see what we have in here. 
<laughs> a tier two mutagen and a microchip. So even though we didn't find a microchip in the Stargate, we found one here. That's wonderful. All right. Very cool. Love you guys' comments. The thing about, you know, doing YouTube videos like this is, and, and also the fact that I'm just old and I forget shit anyway, uh, you, you can't catch everything all the time. And so it's, it's really cool when you guys let, you know, let us YouTubers know about stuff like that. Um, so we can go back and get it, especially in this case, because this is really beneficial. All right. What are we going to get? Uh, tier three blueprint pinning. Okay. That, um, did we not even make the. We must not have made the tier two. Okay, we'll have to go back to the base to do that because I don't have all that stuff here. Uh, but that's useful. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put all the flowers in here for the for the moment because I'm completely out of space in the base for those things. But we'll take the rest of the stuff back with us. We're almost halfway there. I guess we could have just flown back, but that's okay. Alright, so... We need to make this one first. Let's pin that. We need a methane. Let's just go pull one out of the thing here. An osmium, a zeo, and a magnesium, and a cobalt. Oh, you know what I should have done? Uh, we should get continue making more bee larvae because I need those for my uh, for my food farm. In fact, I'm gonna have to make a bunch of these. Yeah, we might. I'm. Um, we might need to get another incubator setup going here. I mean, it doesn't really take long to do it. I just have to remember to do it, but it'd still be handy to kind of double up on that. Get normal fertilizer. Um, okay, put this in and this in. And research that. That's also kind of an, an off-camera thing I can work on too, but, you know, we need, I think we need three bee larvae to make one outdoor farm, plus we're going to need them to make the honey, or the, yeah, the honeycombs too, so... A lot more of those to make. Um, I don't have any room left up here. This this room's pretty damn crowded. Um, so if I did make another one of these, I'd have to figure out where I would put it. I mean, I guess we could just put it here. So it's because I'd like it to be close to that room. Things to be a little tight coming through here, but it should work. Or we could even put it, actually, we could put it in this corner over here. Yeah, I like that idea. What do we need to make another one of these? This stuff. Okay, here, I'm getting sidetracked. Let, let's finish our first task. Uh, okay, so we need Oz, Cobalt, and a Mag, and a Zeo. There's our Zeo. Oz. Here, let's pull these out of Overflow, Cobalt, and Mag. All right, and then to make the tier three, I just need a Quasar and a Blazar. Hmm, do I have both of those? I do, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? All right, cool, now we can pin, I don't know, how many things can we pin? Good Lord. Oh, okay, up to five items. Cool. Um, removing them, though, is going to be a little bit more of a pain in the ass now. Because <laughs> we have to actually remove the specific one. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's actually a thing, isn't it? The nice thing about having just one is then you can, you can select something else, turn it off and on just to get it off the screen. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like that, you guys. They really need a way to just fucking be able to clear these things. <laughs> I'm serious. I was like, what the hell? All right, well, we'll run with it for now, but if it if it really bugs the hell out of me, um, I might go back to the tier one. 
Uh, all right, what are we doing? We're, we were going to build another incubator. Let's do that next. So we'll pin that. And then we need a tree bark. Got a ton of that stuff. Uh, both of these chests, I think, are completely full of tree bark. Yes, they are. Uh, we need a tier two fertilizer, it looks like. Yep, a super and an O2. There's O2 in there and a super. All right, we're going to put this uh, in this corner so that it's out of the way. If I, I just want to look at something here. If I did put it here, I mean, yeah, it's going to stick out long ways. I don't really like that. So let's just kind of angle it. Kind of hard to see the green arrow, but I think that's pretty good right there. Nice. All right. Did I for I forgot to do it, didn't I? Did I really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> I always forget that damn thing. Every time, man, without fail, just about, it seems. I know that's a bit of an exaggeration, but not much. Not much. You, 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 and research. There. Okay. All right, so we got two of those to uh, to make the bee larva. Uh, how are we doing over here? So we're 42. We're really, really close uh, to that. Maybe we sh What do we need to make the Serena butterfly? That's 1,200%. It's amazing. This is getting close. The insects are just going nuts right now because, you know, we have... I think we have 4,000% insect spreader now. So it won't be long at all. I'll tell you what, then, since that thing's going to pop pretty soon... Why don't we, I don't remember if I, if I should <clears throat> kind of went over my plan uh, for the farm. So what I want to do is, um, we're going to, we're going to set down a big living compartment and I'm going to also use, uh, I'm going to turn the walls into glass just because I think it'll look cool. What if we set up a, a bio lab out there? Um, what would be the functional advantage to doing that? Hmm. I, I don't know that there would really be a huge functional advantage, but it, it would kind of look neat to do a bio lab out there. There we go. Tier two beehive. All right, so this guy, oh, okay, it only takes one bee larva, so that's good. In fact, you know what? We can recover that just from the tier ones that we have already, but I think I only have two of those going. So that's not as expensive as I was expecting it to be. Oh, we can make the animal shelter now, too. And the feeder. Okay, tell you what, the plan for the next, uh, well... No, okay, plan for next episode is to set our get our farm started. And then the episode after that we'll we'll start working on animals. I think that's what we'll do. Um, but let's do this. Let's um What's it cost to make a bio lab? Yeah, I, I, I think I like the idea of, of putting a bio lab out there. See, all, all they would have to do is just allow us to right click on this pin or double click on it or control click on it or something just to get rid of it. I can't imagine Miju Games watches my videos, but if they do, if you guys do, I love your game, first of all. Good job. But hey, can, <laughs> give us a way to remove those, man. Seriously. Okay. Anyway, let's, um, let's get the stuff together for another bio lab. So we need two Osmium, two Super Dupers. 
Uh, no, three super dupers and an aluminum. There we go. Okay, let's also take some iron with us because I'm going to want to make some foundations. That's all water. Take a bunch of iron. All right. Let's just head out there and kind of do a little assessment survey. Actually, let's top our food off. At some point, it's still in my plans to redo our forest down there. I'd like to put some some grass spreaders and maybe some flower spreaders so that it's not just sand on the forest floor. The one thing that makes me a little bit leery about that, though, is that, you know, at some point, I think you can add too much shit to this game and then it, it just starts bogging down. I mean, I have a pretty powerful machine, but... You know, I don't know. We'll have to give that some thought, I suppose. Oh, you know what? Damn it! I should have um, should have brought stuff to make a portal, because or uh, not a portal, a, a teleporter. Because this is going to be a permanent, you know, location for us. Oh, it's so pretty down here. I just love this place. It's just gorgeous. All right. So this was basically the general vicinity that I wanted to set the farm up. Oh, uh, we do have, I got a, a miner over there. Uh, we are going to have to kind of work around the vegetation though, but that's not a bad thing. I'm just, you know, kind of taking a quick peek here to see if there might be a little bit better spot. If we, you know, if we kind of build out over the water, we'll have lots of room in this area, but I don't know that I want to build out over the water. Uh, I mean, I don't mind building out over it a little bit, but I don't want to, you know, screw up the beauty of this place. All right, why don't we do this? Why don't we build kind of just on this shoreline here, looking out over this little little lake or pond and see if we can make it work uh, just in this general area right here. Um, I don't think the outdoor forms have to be on the ground. I'm pretty sure we can put those on foundations. I think. You know what we could do? Uh... Let's save the game. Let's jump back into our season one game for just a minute. Exit to main menu. Uh, I think that was this one here. Yeah. All right. Did I have, um, did I have my outdoor farm on up on a foundation? Yes, I do. Okay. Good. Okay. I just wanted to confirm that. All right. Let's go back to our main game now. Okay, so we want the building to face out over this lake. And I want it to be high enough to get up above like this fern and this tuft of grass. We'll pick these guys up here. Uh, all right, so let's grab a foundation here. And yeah, maybe I won't worry too much about the grass, but I do want it above the fern. Oh, that's right. I can't turn these. Can't rotate these. Ugh. 
forgot about that. Okay, so... Hmm. That's going to make it really difficult. I, I wanted it to, you know, kind of follow the line of the shore here. But that is not going to allow us to do that. If we use foundations, which I really kind of want to do. And it's getting dark, too. Okay, well, uh, I mean, we have to work with what the game gives us to work with. What if we... See, it kind of lines up with the shore a little bit better over here, but then we're running into larger vegetation. Let's go over here for a minute. Do we have a better line alignment over up against this lake? Yeah, we do. All right, maybe what we do is we build it over here then and have it look out over on this lake. Uh, we're gonna hmm. see the problem though is this terrain gets steep really quick <clears throat> so that could be a problem too I, I mean we can we can just go out over the water a bit I guess to work with that situation Oh, man. See, it's already... Oh, no, actually, I know what the problem is. You're the problem. I was going to say, that should let us put that there. No, you stupid root. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Oh, man. Seriously? Oh. I don't know what I just did to make that work, but... It worked. All right. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go out this way a little further too. And maybe even one more. And I think we're going to need to go out this way one more as well. Okay. <clears throat> Let's grab this stuff. We could come uh, this way more as if we needed to, but what I'd like to do now is, let's see, we just made a 6i4. Um... Let's get this guy. Okay, you're a, essentially a 4x4. Four because four. the idea is, you know, put this down and then have... Have the farms... Kind of outside along the perimeter of the facility. I can't even tell which direction this is facing. Let's just put it down. Uh... I think I would like that to be turned around the other way and also pulled back all right now that I'm looking at this I think I want to expand the Nasty storm. I think I want to expand out this way one more level. Uh, or foundation, rather. Oops. Okay, I need one, two, three, four more pieces of iron. Oh, man, this is so pretty through here. I think this is worthy of a screenshot. Let's um, turn off the HUD. There we go. All right, we got our screenshot for the episode. That's a beautiful thing.
Nope, not there. Oh, never mind. It did the right thing after all. Okay, good. So this will give us more space on all sides of the of the facility. So we basically have one and three quarters of the foundation on that side, one and three quarters on that side. And I guess we would, wait a minute. This is one, two, three, four, five. This is, oh, right. It's still only five instead of six. That's actually maybe not a problem, though, based upon what I think I want to do with this. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. All right, we just got to flip this thing around. And what I might do, too, is I might actually pull it back this way a little more, too. Okay, let's go there, there, and there, and wait, what the hell are you doing? Why is it doing that? If, uh, all right, so I guess that means I've got to Put it down on this side then. Yeah, it doesn't like pivot in place. That's really weird. Um, and now the problem is that I can't get back far enough. Can I jetpack? Uh, is that the center? Okay, yeah, that is the right direction. But I wanted to. I actually want to push it back this way further. And it's not perfectly centered anyway. Why does this have to be so difficult? Uh. <laughs> now what? Okay, can I look in there and see what direction it's going to go? Right, okay, so we need to turn it this way. We need to get up here and put it back further that way. Let's see if that... Ah, oh, damn it, it's still not straight. Okay, well, the only way I'm gonna do this is to build more foundations out there just so I can back up far enough. To do it. What a pain in the ass, man. All right, let me gather some more iron. The The building should just pivot in place. You know, that's the problem, of course. Why it doesn't, God and Miju Games only knows. Probably two more foundations will be plenty, but let's go three just in case. Just trying to see if I could get actually, yeah, let's uh let's go, let's do that. Let's see if that works. So we can kind of stand right here. Okay, pivot. There, I think that's what we want. And then I want to push it back. buried underneath the foundation. Let's try it right there. Man, we could we can push it back a little bit further. Cause I I kinda want it to be lined up here because I'd rather have more room out in the on this side than on the other side. All right, let's try that again. Get right here. 
Grab this. Pivot it that way. Get it right on the center and then push it back. Maybe to there. Uh, that's a little too far now. Let me try it one more time. Let's try there. That's good. I think we can live with that. All right. Let's pick this up here. Um, can I get that to, yeah. Okay. I'm surprised it let me do that actually. Okay, we need a door here. In fact, we're gonna do probably a door on both sides. Uh, so it looks like we need a silicon. I have food, right? Yeah. We need two silicon, uh, two titanium, and two iron. And then let's just have another door going out this way. All right, nice. I like it. We could, we could also. Um, we could put the farms on the roof of this place too, but if we do that though, yeah, we're not going to really be able to see them. So what I want to do is I want to line the farms up along this row here, uh, on both sides. So, you know, one, one row down that way, one row down this way. Um, and then the beehives... I think we're going to have to line those up on the ground. Uh, that's another question. Good question, though. Can can we put beehives on foundations, or do they have to actually be on the ground? Um, ideally, I'd like them within range of our auto crafter. Uh, but if, you know, if we can't make that work, then we'll just have to use drones to transfer everything. All right, let's go back to the base and make a, a tier two beehive. And I just want to see if I can put it on a foundation. I don't think I can. I think I'm going to have to put it on the ground, but we'll test that. We'll also come back here with a teleporter too. There it is. Nice. We'll do that in the next episode. See, that's going to probably be I ideal for our base, too, because it's got a lower sphere. And so, we ha you know, having it out over the canyon is going to look awesome. All right, let's grab one of those. What do we need to make the Tier 2 Beehive? Let's take one of these guys down. gave us um it's like that gave us everything except for the the bark and the tier two fertilizer while i'm here let's put these larvae in here oh no i need the bee larva let's make another batch of bee larva. I have uh, one tier one fertilizer already. Oh, do this one first. That, 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 and hit research. That, 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 and hit research. Hey, I remembered. Look at me and my bad self. Okay. 
Million dollar question. Can we put a beehive down on top of a foundation? Oh, I forgot to grab the tree bark. Can't take me anywhere. Negative. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. What we're going to do then is let's gather up all the stuff that we need to make another teleporter. Uh, looks like we have most of it already. Uh, we need an Oz. Another Pulsar. And yeah, we have everything else. Okay. Let's head back. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's go... I still have a food with me, right? I'm going to put these circuit boards away. I'll put the rest of that away later. Let's go to the fusion cell production facility. Yeah, I think that gets us a little bit closer than just flying all the way over here. Okay, so... Um, beehives. Don't like the fact that they're at an angle. Uh, yeah, that kind of that kind of sucks, doesn't it? I mean, it's kind of flat down there. Look at that frog walking around. Oh, I love it. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I didn't. That hadn't even occurred to me when we first started building this that they would have to be on the ground at an angle. I don't like that. I gotta. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Uh, maybe we could line them up down there or down there. I'm. I'm afraid, though, they'll be out of range of the autocrafter. But again, we can use drones because this is just not gonna work for me. Could probably get away with doing them down here. Though. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, let's pick that up. Let's get down here. They're still not perfectly straight, but at least they're not as at an angle as bad as the other one, you know? There's a nice flat spot right here. We could just put them all over here and use drones to transfer. So I'm pretty sure an autocrafter is not going to reach that far. Um... This is kind of flat-ish over here, I suppose, too. We're not going to need a lot of them because they do four honey, you know, each. Uh, okay, I'm just going to have to give that some thought, and we'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll probably put the autocrafter in this corner. Um, or if we did end up putting them over there, maybe we move the door over here. But for now... I think we're just going to keep them out there, and so the autocrafter will go here. And that being the case, I think we'll put the teleporter in this corner. Hopefully it'll fit. Can we walk through there? <laughs> um, what if we turn it the other way? This way. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Okay. This is our food farm. All right. I'm going to try... I, I want to try one more thing while I still have you guys. Let's go back to the main base. Let's make uh, an auto crafter. 
All right, so we need two Oz and a super rod. All right, I'm gonna put the auto crafter in the corner here. And we want I want you to make honey, so it's gonna need you know uh, we're gonna put beans. I'll, I'll probably plant at least one of each crop out here just for the hell of it. But beans will be the you know the main one because that's what we need to to make the food. But here's what I want to see if we can determine. If we look at this, um, right now the tier two beehive is is within range. All right, if we put it, this is a really, really nice flat area here. I think this is going to be too far, but let's just try it. So if we put it right there, say. Nope, it's out of range. Okay. So our only options then are either put the beehives close and, you know, they're just not going to be, they're going to be cockeyed. Or we have drones transfer stuff. It would look so much nicer, you know, if I put them just over here in this flat area. Let's try one more option here. It's not too bad up here. And again, we may only need a couple of these anyway. So we could put one there and one here, but is that enough? Is that in range of this? It isn't. Yeah, see? Yeah, damn it, Jim. I wish this was nice and flat out here, but it isn't. So for now, it, I'd like to not have to rely on drones for that. So for now, I'm just going to put it down here. Just trying to see where the flat spots are. See, that that's already going to be too far anyway. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it there for now and I'll think about that. And if it bothers me too much that it's at a weird ass angle, we'll go put it over in the flattery, make them look nice and neat. And we'll just have to rely on drones, uh, you know, to make that work. But we still have to get, uh, whoa. we still have to get the farm set up. That's, I think that's probably a pulsar meteor. I can't even see it. Probably coming right at me. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, so we still have to get the outdoor farms set up and get storage and, and set up. And then I'm probably going to also put a dedicated uh, trade rocket out here, too. Boom. And, of course, I can't get, get to those. So, yeah, that is the, that's the plan. That's the plan. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, so plan for next episode is to finish this up and get our Tier 2 Aquarium going. And then after that, I think we'll get started with animals. We'll get the animal shelter and the animal feeder set up and start figuring out how all that works. It should be a lot of fun. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.